What's happening, people? Jono here from Fitness Education Online. Super excited because I'm, it's our latest episode of how to get clients for your personal training business. Uh, and I've got an absolute rock star this week. If you haven't caught this show before, long story short, every week I interview a different expert in the space and they share their three best tips on how to get personal training clients in less than 10 minutes. Um, and I've got a, a good one on the line this week, a good friend of mine from uh, Queensland, Australia. She's the, the challenges manager for the fitness and lifestyle group. Group. If you haven't heard of them before, essentially all the biggest fitness brands in Australia, they run Fitness First, Good Life, um, Jets, Barry's Boot Camp, and no matter where in the world you're, you're listening from or watching from, you've probably heard some of those brands anyway. Uh, and before that, she was the personal national personal training manager at Fitness First, which is the biggest um, gym here in Australia. So when it comes to getting clients in a personal training gym-based setting, there's very few people that, um, that know more about the topic than her. So so without further ado, let me introduce Miss Tani Donkin and Tani, let's see your tips. Okay, so my first tip within a gym environment is to show up and that's to spend as much time as you possibly can in the gym. So as many days of the week as you can and be there as many hours as you possibly can, especially for your first 12 weeks within the business. Now, here's the reason why. If you're running your own business within that facility and you're trying to grow clients, uh, that's basically when your doors are open, right? Your doors to your business are open when you're in the gym and you're doing work. If you can imagine if you were only, let's say, a, a, a grocery store or a, a, a retail store and that business had its doors closed uh, for, for most of the day and only open for two hours when you had customers coming in, you're probably not going to grow your business, right? So when you're a personal trainer or within a gym-based environment, it's really important that you are there because that's where people are going to see you on the gym floor, interacting with people. You're going to start building relationships and you're going to get to know people. So that's the first tip is be there, show up as much as you possibly can. Tip two is to train as many people as you can, regardless of whether you're being paid for those PT sessions. So yes, that initially is offering as many sessions as you possibly can for free. Now, I know that might make a lot of trainers nervous around you. I'm giving up a lot of my free time. What am I getting in return? Well, the number one thing that you're getting in return is free advertising, right? That is the best possible advertising that you can have for your business is people seeing you on the gym floor all day training people interacting with people and seeing the value that you can give to potential clients and guess what as a, as a byproduct of this chances are a lot of those people that you take through free sessions are actually going to convert and become paying clients but even if only a quarter of those were to become paying clients the advertising opportunity that you have just from training people and being seen to be training people all the time on the gym floor that is the thing that is going to do wonders for your business now, the third three key tip that I would have here is to talk to as many people face-to-face -face as you can. It can be really scary and really intimidating to do this in a gym environment, especially when you're new and you, you think, you know, I'm new to this industry, I'm new to the gym, what value can I possibly add? Why are people going to listen to me? So what I would suggest is put all of that aside and just have a goal of making friends. That's all you need to think about. Have a goal of making friends. And this is the strategy that I like to use to do that in a way that is less intimidating for you as a fitness professional and less intimidating to the member as well. We've probably all seen trainers go from treadmill to treadmill trying to talk to every single person. And you can see them coming a mile away. And that's when you pretend to be on the phone or you put your headphones in, you do everything you can to avoid having a conversation with someone who's approaching in that way. What I prefer to do is to initially just make eye contact with that person. That's the first thing. Just make eye contact and smile and see how they respond. If they make eye contact back and smile, the next step would be to say hi or, you know, to take it a, a step further. If they look away, if they pretend to be on the phone, if they push their headphones in a little bit further, it doesn't mean that you don't talk to them. It just means maybe not today. I'll have another go tomorrow. So eye contact, which will hopefully lead to a smile and a hi or a hello. Now, that might be as far as the conversation goes in that first, that first interaction, which is okay, but you're going to do it again tomorrow. And over time, you're going to build a relationship. Now, when you start talking to that person, I always recommend talking about anything other than health or fitness and wait for them to bring it up. 
Because if you jump straight into talking about their training, this is the place where they see you as the expert and they don't feel that they can contribute to the conversation. So let's take all the intimidation out of it and talk about anything else. I don't care if you're talking about the weather, if you're talking about the footy game on the weekend, talking about anything other than health and fitness until they bring it up which might be that that day, it could be a few weeks down the track. And as soon as they've brought it up, they've just opened the door for you to jump in and to start helping them with some tips and some advice. And even if that person doesn't start training with you, if they do want to recommend a trainer to a friend or a family member or a colleague down the track, you're their friend. You're the one they've spoken to every single day coming into the club. You're absolutely the one they're going to recommend. So all of a sudden, you feel like you're in an awesome location because you've made friends with everyone that's around you and everyone knows you it's not intimidating and all of a sudden you don't feel that you need to sell because everyone knows you and all of a sudden you are the go-to trainer so get out there and talk to people yes that does mean putting your phone down lifting your head up and having a conversation all right you can tell tani's experience right um well usual deal if you like the video just hit like and make sure to leave a comment below the comment i recommend is just say thank you to tani because she's given up her time to um give us some free tips so the least we can do is, is say thank you down below in the comments so let's say thank you down there uh if you like this sort of stuff i recommend joining our uh, our community facebook group the fitness education online community facebook group there's like fourteen thousand trainers in there everyone is super Super supportive we all share tips and ideas i'll put the link down in the description and i would love to see you in there uh and i'm going to hand it back over to tani tani if we want to follow you or, or hear more about you what do we do yeah so to contact me directly if you have any questions or you'd like any support or advice you can find me on instagram or on linkedin especially linkedin you can just find me search for tani donkin i'm the only one out there so on linkedin i'm tani donkin and then on instagram at Tani Donkin, super easy. And if you have any questions around any of the brands that I support as well, especially any recruitment opportunities, you can email me directly at tani.donkin at fitlg.com. So that's T A H N W -E E dot D O N K I N at F I T L G dot com.